Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're having a great day. Kian here, and um, it's Friday, but uh, no kendo today. Got that little pumpkin head in the back there today, so no kendo. But I decided to do something a little different. Um, uh, you all may have noticed I didn't do any Tuesday vlog, and the reason for that is that I'm starting. Um, I started my master course. Um, that was last week. Yeah, so I used Tuesday to kind of do a refresher on the course and um, get things prepped for the culinary adventures group, right? So um, today I just decided, you know, um, as I'm home at Zari, uh, I'm gonna do some sushi, you know, get my sushi skills back in again, you know, feel it, feel, feel the whole thing again, and um, really try. You know to master it so I can actually show it to you guys when I start the cooking um, when I start by the cooking group which will be most likely the end of March beginning or end of March I'm not sure yet I'm trying to make sure I, I um, well me and my brethren Ish, Ishmael uh, we doing it together so I want to make sure we have a couple of ideas that we, we met today again and um, we have a couple of ideas that we want to push to you guys and get you guys really ready to do it now ready and, and, and to be better chefs then you know so that's gonna be happening so i'm just gonna do some sushi simple stuff you know i'm gonna try to tape the process as usual and get you guys show you guys exactly what i do when i make sushi right um by no means i'm a pro uh this is just things i pull off of youtube watch my sensei did and um, yeah stay tuned hopefully it's something you guys like and hopefully i could come up with some new sushi ideas today as well so stay tuned and uh, bye right so here we have um let's see sushi rice uh some little focus on it right here right so it's just sushi rice so what you normally have to do is uh wash it out until the water becomes as clear as possible all right um i've already washed this like about two to three times gonna wash it one more time and um, it's something you have to be gentle with because if yeah oh crap probably the audio was good before and i realized i was touching the um <laughs> the top of the thing but yeah basically what i'm saying about this is uh sushi rice and it's um something you need to be really gentle with um you need to wash it a couple of times to get the starch out the base starch out but you don't want to squeeze like too too hard um by doing that it would um break the break the rice grains and then more starch will come into the water so you'll be washing this like for, for like a whole day if you do that nonsense all right so what i'm doing here i'm just gonna wash um drain this out wash it one more time and then put it and then drain it to dry and then it's on to the stove for this so stay again all right so what i have here is the rice wine vinegar that you're gonna use on the sushi rice when it's finished cooked um I right, they're going through the last phase here so it's just how about 10 minutes again under a, like a seriously low heat All right but to this here this is um, rice wine vinegar sugar and some salt uh, i always mix a little extra just in case i mean there's really nothing bad about making extra and storing it um it's just to make sure the rice gets a nice sort of tart tangy kind of vinegary taste but yeah, so just to mix this and um, I'll be back when the rice is finished. Alright, I'll show you guys how we do the rice. Okay. So I have my sous chef here taking over. She's trying to mix the vinegar. Hello, hello. Mix my thing properly now, madam. Hey, hey. Mix my thing properly, please. There's no sushi for you tonight. I can smell it. It smells nasty, yeah. It's vinegar. Mix it properly. Like you like vinegar? Well, that's good. So you wouldn't drink, you wouldn't eat, so you don't want sushi then? You done? Yeah. <laughs> alright baby, alright. Right, so um, it cool on a little bit, just a little, little bit, right? So the user kind of like a, a chopping, like chop, chop, like a chop, chop kind of way. The thing, and that's why you wouldn't break it up and you just add the vinegar. I add a little more than just normal, you know, but um, I like it that way. I like the taste, the taste I get from it, you know, so 
it's really nice and then you just fold it over chop 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 All right. fold again chop 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 fold 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 chop 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 fold yeah and you just basically do that until probably add a little, probably added a little too much but you know no no it's okay All right so same thing fold right light chops right fold light chops right and this mm. nice mm. keep up more now right, normally you're supposed to use uh what do you call it uh fan like a hand fan if you have one that's how i saw it that's why i first saw to do it right let me use a hand fan and you you mix and you you fan away until you get to school but um i just decided just to mix just to mix it a little bit more than usual yeah so yeah and that's it rice done right so this is basically everything for it here um some raw i have well don't hit me wasabi paste some unagi sauce sriracha i'm gonna try this mother-in-law coconut chutney in it um i have two types of rice seasoning one with wasabi and one with um just let's see, plain stuff some cream cheese here my rice and um fake crab that's it really simple really simple stuff um thing is though i have two types of the same sushi um sorry two types of the same nori so i have this pack that's just like brand new and i have other pack that i had from before so i'm gonna try to make it with that first uh the problem i'm seeing with it is that it, it's it's a little discolored it's a little brown um i do think that's because of the air the air got it so i'm not really sure if it will taste good so i'm just making one test one and if it's if it's bad i'm just gonna chew with the chew with the entire thing you know um or find something to make with it probably so stick with me uh time lapse coming up So this is the finished product for the first one. Um, excuse where the roll is. Uh, normally you put the you make an why is called inside out sushi and put the roll on the outside. Uh, but I just wanted to try the roll, the taste at least with the unagi and everything this way. So we do some taste testing right now and um, yeah. Hopefully it is good. Peace. Right, hey guys, so it's Saturday morning, well, hey, Saturday Daddy, junior day, that's not different. It's a Daddy thing. What's that? The tripod, no, no, you don't need to use it. Right, so, I don't know why I'm looking orange. I don't know why, that's not, hold on. I don't know, that's orange? Yeah. So, key on here and... Say hi. Hello, say hi. Well, let's see them. Say hi, people. Like, hi, hi. Alright, cool, anyway, right. So we just doing some more sushi, right? This sushi. Right. As I was just helping with the process. Daddy, huh? show this. Show this. Show this. One? this is the one you help with. For mine. All right. And there's Daddy in here. Um, you might notice it has some weird looking stuff on it. So, big note like that, that. Right. Because um, <laughs> we tried this in a restaurant once before and it tasted really good. So no, no baby, look at that. So there is um the normal crab thing because that's what I had. Um, cheese, actual cheese, and um, this thing here we are called um, mother-in-law. This one here, right? Mother. Actually, it tasted really good. Um, I made it last mm -hmm. night and just this morning to to help with Azaria for Azaria to help. So we're gonna eat some, right, Zari? Yeah. Say bye bye. Bye. -bye. I don't need to get up pieces and I will kiss. It will burn.
Now, uh, daddy, when you put yeah. wasabi in? No, no, this. You're right, you put wasabi in that one, you remember? And it was kiss. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, guys, um, so that's it there, right? Daddy, um, Daddy. See you guys later. Daddy! Yes, baby. Alright, I want to roll it now. So, say bye bye. Bye.